everyone, welcome back. You can see I have Nikki here. Hi. This is Makeup by Nikki LaRose on Instagram. She is one of my friends, she is my makeup artist, and she made me look like this today. So pretty. Yes. It's, we're going for a soft, romantic look, which I think we achieved. Mm -hmm. And kind of different from what we normally do too. We're doing like more of a raspberry lip, so. Yeah, so fun, flirty makeup tutorial coming at you right now. All right, so I have my base makeup on because we want to just hop into the actual look. Yep. What makes it a romantic makeup mm. look? So romantic, when I think romantic, I think like soft colors, I think like warm tones, raspberries, reds, of course, and yeah. nothing too harsh. I think like very soft, very subtle, like blush tones and like warm tones on the eyes and nothing too like harsh or like any sharp lines. So no harsh liner, no harsh lip liner. I just like very soft and feminine. And I went for a floral dress. I don't always do a floral dress. Yeah, it's gonna be perfect for our, our lip. So first I'm gonna apply a Sigma eyeshadow base primer. This is a tinted one. It's, you can see it's like a nice like blush tone going with our theme. So I'm gonna apply this as her eyeshadow base and this is her product. So I'm just gonna directly apply it to her eyelid. So just applying it to the base of her eyelid and then I'm gonna take a blending brush and start to blend it out. And now I'm gonna go straight into the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna be using the Dior Amber Neutrals palette. This is such a beautiful palette. I have not used it yet, so Susan gets to break it in. Yeah, it's pretty. So this look is just gonna be really soft. It's not an eye focus, it's more of a lip and cheek focus. So we're gonna keep the eyes really soft, really just blend it out, and like I said earlier, no harsh lines. So I'm just gonna take one color and a blending brush, and I'm really just gonna buff it all over. I'm taking the color Sienna, and I'm gonna apply it initially to her eyelid and press it on and then I'm just gonna blend it out with a fluffy brush. So I want that initial color to be strong on her eyelid and then just softly diffuse and softly blend it out into the crease and out. And by applying it with a fluffy brush rather than a small flat brush, it's giving me more of a soft application, which is what we're going for. We don't want anything too harsh or too pigmented. We want it to be nice and soft and more effortless. And next, to create just a little bit of depth and like sultry smokiness, I'm gonna apply a dark brown shadow from the same palette with a small brush. So going with a small flat brush, I wanna have more control over where I'm putting this dark color. So I'm just gonna press it right into her lash line. We're not going for a defined liner look with this, we're going for like a really soft, really subtle, diffused look. And even though the eyeshadow look is really soft, we still want to define her lash line just a little bit and give it more depth. Pop a little bit of the same shadow, bottom outer corner. So this is essentially serving as my eyeliner. Yep. But the effect, again, is like just so much more softer and diffused. So I noticed you stayed kind of more in the corner also. Yeah, so I'm going for more of like a, if there is gonna be a smoky effect, it's just gonna be in the outer corner of the eye, just to give it like that beautiful, like sultry look. Going back in with my larger fluffy brush, just gonna go over that line and make sure it's really soft. And again, it's not harsh. Just blending it out even more. So now taking the darkest color in the palette, same flat shading brush. I'm just gonna place this in the very outer corner. And by using this dark color, it's really just to lengthen her lash line even further. Going back to that same blending brush, I'm not applying any more shadow, but what I'm doing is just blending out those edges even more, but I'm not blending them in a circular motion, I'm just blending them up and out, just diffusing that line even more. So I always go back through with that same brush and not grabbing any more shadow. I'm just taking it and making sure that everything's blended and seamless and there's no harsh lines. So now I'm gonna go in and tight line Susan's top lash line. This is one of our favorite liners for that. It's, a, it's such a great drugstore liner. I love this one. It's the Revlon Colorstay Micro Gel Eyeliner and it's in a dark brown. I'm just gonna gently work this into her top lash line. 
This is our hourglass eyeliner dupe. Yeah. dupe. It's so good. Such a great dupe. So you can see that I'm gently lifting Susan's eyelid with my fingertip and I'm, again, being very gentle just so I can get in there and really work this pencil into her lash line. This just helps give you more of like a dense appearance to your lash line. It makes you look like you have Fuller. a little more fullness, yeah, yeah, more volume at the root. So this is a great step. So now I'm gonna switch over to Susan's lips, which is the focus of this makeup look. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't wanna add too much shadow and lose that balance that we want with this makeup look by creating you know, too much of a smoky eye effect or adding too much shadow to your eyes. So we're gonna skip finishing her eye makeup, which means like I'm not gonna do her mascara yet. So now I'm gonna go to the main focus of this makeup look, which is her lips. And then we're gonna assess later on. And if we need to add any more eyeshadow or liner, then we could go in after the fact. This just makes sure we have the right balance. So I'm gonna take two colors. This one's a little more hot pink. And this one's like a classic true red. So I'm gonna mix the two because we're going for more of like a, a deep raspberry shade. Deep raspberry, I like it. So I have the two colors on the top of my hand and I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush basically. So I'm gonna blend the two together and we're gonna be applying this lipstick with not a traditional lip brush, which would be a small flat brush. This one's more on the fluffy side and it's obviously larger too than a normal lip brush. And the reason for this is we want it to be a really soft, diffused, like romantic kind of lip color. We don't want it to be applied too harsh. And you'll notice we're skipping lip liner too because we don't want any harsh lines. Think more like worn in, soft, kissed lips. I'm gonna start in the center of her lip and just start buffing it in. It almost gives you the effect of like a lip stain rather than a liquid lipstick. So very soft, very romantic. I am gonna go along her lip line but I'm not trying to define it. I'm just trying to give it some color. Move them together. Great. And then taking a little bit more of my brush and focusing it on the center of her lip. Focusing the color more on the center of the lips rather than the outer parts of the lips just gives you like that, again, that soft, more like effortless look. So now I'm gonna take what's left over on the top of my hand, which is not that much, and a small little buffing brush. And we're gonna use the same color we use on her lips for her blush. This is a great technique and I use this all the time with clients. If you're ever struggling to like match the blush to your lip color or to find the right complementary shade to go with your lip color, this is such a foolproof way. Just take whatever you're using on the lips and dab on your cheeks and it just gives you like that perfect monochromatic look and it just, marries the colors together. Is there a tip though, like this is sort of a stain, right? Like I don't want to, like I don't want to mess it up if I apply it and it's like just, yeah. this, you know. This is where some skill comes into play. So if you're not comfortable <laughs> with this technique, I say practice before you actually leave the house. Practice, get it down. It's definitely not uh, beginner friendly. So just dabbing a little bit. I'm applying really, really light pressure because these lipsticks are super pigmented, but I don't want the blush to be super pigmented. I still want it to be nice and soft. So I'm really just lightly dabbing it. I'm gonna bring it up towards her temple just a little bit. I'm gonna sweep it on the inner part of her cheek for this look. Mm, yeah. Very romantic. Very romantic, very right? Very playful. We yeah. never do that. We never bring no. it that far out. We're usually like, lift this face up. And so we're usually putting it all in this area to go whew. Well, we're still sneaking it there. But we are focusing this blush on the apples of her cheeks because it is more of like a, a soft, like whimsical approach to your blush rather than just like you mentioned, like having it swept up. We're kind of being more playful and like really buffing it all over, making it more romantic. It's like that, that glow that you get when you're like in love. Exactly, yeah. And then whatever's left over, which is not much, I'm just gonna really lightly sweep this on the high point of Susan's brow bone. You don't have to be too careful because there's not that much product left on this brush anymore. So it's just gonna be like a whisper of color. And another reason why you would do this is same idea. You wanna marry those colors all together, make them nice and cohesive. So it's really gonna help tie that eyeshadow color into the rest of the colors, like the lipstick and the blush. So no romantic makeup look would be complete, in my opinion, if you don't add lashes. So we're gonna do individual lashes. It's my personal favorite, I think yours too. Mm -hmm. They just tend to look more soft and more like effortless. And mm -hmm. Especially for this look, if you're going for wispy and yeah. dreamy and stuff, you don't want something that looks severe like a lash strip. Yeah. It's like, I, I think almost impossible to, to not look severe. Yeah. 
with the lash strip. Yeah, the strips always just add maybe a little too much drama in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So this will keep it nice and soft, which is what we're going for. So I'm gonna mix medium length and short length and get to it. Another important tip too with any lash application is to never let your client or yourself close your eyes entirely because you run the risk of gluing your eyes shut, <laughs> which is never good. No. So always have them open, but looking down. The trick is a steady hand, lots of patience. The technique is to place them as close to your lashes as humanly possible. That way you don't see like where they start and where they end. So I'm only applying these individuals on the outer half of her eye. So starting in the middle and then focusing it outward. So I'm not bringing them in the inner corner. So just flirty. Yeah. Flirty. So if her lipstick was more matte and a little bit darker, more dramatic than what it is right now, I'd probably skip this step. But since it's still a little bit soft, I'm gonna add just a little bit of fun to her eyelid. This is the flirty part? Yeah, this is definitely the I flirty guess, part. I guess all of it is flirty. I, this is sort of a flirty romantic look. Totally. And it's not so serious too. Yeah. You know, it's not like the flirty. typical like serious, stark red lipstick. It's more of a soft red. So taking my clean little fingertip, I just tapped it into my glitter. So I want this in a very specific spot. I just want it in the very center of her eyelid. And so by looking straight ahead, I know where to place it, where I'm actually gonna be able to see it. This is a great trick if you have hooded eyes. Let's say you're applying this and you're just kind of applying it all over and then you go to open your eyes and you don't see it because you've applied it basically like in the crease of your eye. So by looking straight ahead, you can really map out where you're gonna place it to see it. I love applying these with a fingertip. It's so easy. There's no fallout. They really stick to the lid right away. And they just had such a like extra oomph to the eyes. And I'm even blending out the edges of this shadow with my fingertip. So now we're gonna finish this look with mascara. This is the By Terry Lash Expert Mascara. And this is Susan, so I'm gonna go in with the brush. And we're not going for a ton of mascara. We're gonna keep it really soft, just like our theme, really soft and romantic. So I'm just gonna do a touch of it. And I'm gonna focus it at the root of her lashes rather than getting the tips of her lashes, especially these individuals. I don't want it to be too dramatic, so I'm just gonna focus it on the root. Placing my finger there as a guide and also like a safety, so I'm not gonna get mascara on her eyelid. And I'm just gently pressing it into the root. This is also gonna help to blend her lashes with the false ones. And where I don't have individuals on the inner corner, I'm gonna apply a little more mascara just to blend it. And you can see the difference too at the root especially. Take your time with this because mascara can be so messy and definitely don't wanna get mascara on your beautifully applied eyeshadow. I'm also slightly pulling this mascara outward to again, elongate her lash line and create like a longer shape to her eye. Rather than going straight up, we're trying to kind of pull your lashes to the side, which since we don't have pretty much any top liner on, this is gonna give us more of like a cat eye effect, but in a very subtle way. So now I'm gonna take the tip of the wand and I'm gonna do just a light layer of bottom mascara, and I'm just gonna move it gently back and forth and try to work it into the root of her bottom lashes. Another tip too, let's say you apply a little too much mascara on the bottom lash line, if you take a clean fingertip and you just gently graze the tip of the lashes, your fingertip will pick up any excess product that you don't want there and just help to give it more of a natural effect. So we're almost done with this romantic makeup look, but I'm just gonna add a teeny bit of highlighter just to the high points of her face. So just a touch on the top of her cheekbones and a little across her forehead and a little bit on the bridge of her nose. And last but not least, we're gonna add a little bit of shine to her lips just in the center. I'm gonna use a lip oil and this one's actually tinted. Same lip brush we used earlier, just taking a tiny bit and just in the center, just to give these lips a, a luscious look. Yeah, a little pout. All right, so that is the final makeup look. So there's a couple things that make it different from what we normally do and what you see on mixed makeup especially is the blush placement you'll notice is more focused on the apples of her cheeks, which to me is like very soft and very youthful. And I just, that feels more romantic to me for some reason. The lip is definitely a departure from what we normally do. You normally see like soft nudes and like really pale pinks and neutral colors. So that's very different. So. We didn't make Susan's eyes too dark because we wanted the focus to be on the lips. It's a very lip focused look. I like it. Very Which I think is romantic, right? Lip focused, definitely, yeah. definitely. If you guys have any questions, you can find Nikki on Instagram. She is at makeup by Nikki LaRose. You can find me at Susan Yura. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.